Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. A new month is upon us. This year is already off to a speedy start. Good thing I have my sunglasses because the sun permeating through the shades. Well, I'm wearing shades, but through the shades of the clouds that are up there, providing very little because over here, not a lot of clouds. Hence the hat, the big brimmed hat I am wearing. I am heading to Epcot Center for the first day, the opening day, if you will, of Interna Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival 2023 edition. Gonna try some snacks, maybe get on a ride or two, walk around World Showcase, and just see what the heck else happens. Join me. I'm inviting you to. Join me. Shall you? Going to approach the clock and just see what time it is. I always like to get some of these events early. A lot of times, when it comes to Epcot and Flower, and, or not Flower and Garden in general, but just World Showcase in general, a lot of people show up later in the day, which is kind of smart for Central Florida because it does get a little toasty. Currently, right now, it is about 9.36 a.m. They figure by the time I get over there, it'll probably be, by the time I park and get into the gate, in the front of Epcot Center. Probably be 10, maybe a little before. Okay, did the minute hand already move? I'm already, it, already, it already might have moved for this minute. Up oh, there it goes. Perfect timing, I'm off. And could add that one to another one of the many times I misspoke. <laughs> Clearly the clock was 9.32. I think I said 9.36 or 9.37. At this hour, I-4 westbound flowing pretty smoothly. No, I do not get on I-4 at all. I'm on World Drive heading into the park, so I kind of avoid all that traffic, even if it was backed up. But I always like to show this. Mickey Power Pole. Now, obviously, there will be plenty of snacks, booths, merchandise, assorted accessories when it comes to the theming of this particular event. But I always like looking at the topiaries. I think my favorite thing might be all the topiaries. And I noticed and saw they changed just the other day. Well, this will be my first festival attending since they have put back up the retro font of Epcot Center. They dropped the center, but they kept the Epcot font. Brought back the old Epcot font. Still having a kind of a hard time getting used to these new names. Even though you can see Discovery has been kind of marked out. Now this is called Crush. It's no longer Discovery 15, it's Crush 205. It's gonna take some time to get used to the character names. Always nice to be greeted with the monorail on the way in. And also, of course, walking in and seeing Spaceship Earth, always a thing of beauty in the main courtyard in front of Spaceship Earth. And I like how they brought it back to how it was when the park first opened, because for many years it was a lot different. They had the Leave a Legacy things out front, the, the kind of big pylons here in the middle, the big structures that were removed, and now this is a lot more open and it looks a lot better now that they brought it back to kind of how it was when, you know, the first vision of Epcot Center, which is nice. Even at this moment, Spaceship Earth has quite the, oh, quite the line, which is congregated. I think from here I'm gonna walk over to the gift shop. It used to be called Mouse Gears. They still call it Mouse Gears, but I think it's called some Connections now. I'm gonna walk over there and see if they have any specific merch for this event. All right, it's not Connections. Connections is the cafe that sits adjacent. You can hear the construction that's going on over this wall for the future of Epcot. Now, Mouse Gears is now called the Creation Shop up ahead. It's hard to get used to all these changes and the new names. Uh, evidently, there must be specific, specific merch just for this event because they've got a queue line. A queue, well, queue. Q and a line mean the same thing, but there's a Q or and or a line, or I call it a Q line here at the Creation Shop for the merchandise for today. So I'm gonna go in there and see what they got. There is the end of the line sign there. That's not too bad. I like that you can see the reflection. Spaceship Earth, reflections of Earth. And there's only maybe, gosh, less than a dozen people in front of me to get in the entire, I'll, this might not even be for the merch, this might just be to get in the shop. One thing you will see a lot of at this festival are orange bird things. There's orange birds on these crocs here and you're gonna see a lot of figments. And also it looks like Snow White is gonna be like a part of this too. There's like her around like, a, I don't know if I call that a wishing well, but yeah, I guess you'd call it, I guess it's like a big, bigger wishing well than what I'm used to at Disneyland. Uh, 
But yeah, Snow White is part of it as well. Now when it comes to merchandise, one thing I usually always try to get are pens. I just have like a big bag of pens. I'll like collect these pens. They're kind of like magnets for like a fridge or whatnot, but pens, they don't take up a whole heck of a lot of space when it comes to merchandise. Like popcorn buckets really aren't my thing. I mean, I love them, but they take up, they take up way too much space. Anything that has figment on it and that has an event, I usually will go with. All right, as much as I like the orange bird this one and the orange bird this one, they're not like date stamped or anything, but these three are date stamped with the with the year and the event on it. So I think I'm gonna go with these. I like date stamp stuff. You know, just for years from now, I can look back and be like, oh yeah, I was there. And I really do like Turvis tumblers. I have quite a few and you know, I don't really, probably don't need any more, but they have Turvis tumblers as well. And there's figment on this little coffee pot that almost looks like a planter. And they have magic bands here with the date stamp 2020. 23 on them and speaking of magnets there's a figment mat magnet i'm not really sure what this is i guess it'll be like a jewelry holder all right there's also the spirit jersey and i really like this it's kind of like a baseball style ringer with the like so the little collared sleeves and whatnot and around the back yeah full on and before i get in line i did end up putting one of the pens back i just went with one figment and one snow white i figured one of each is good enough, you know, can fit my fanny pack that I have over here. I think that timed that out perfectly because it has gotten very, very busy in here. In fact, the line has stretched out over here around the corner. I was like, it was around the other side, but now the end of the line is right there. And there were a lot of people in there. People love their Disney merch. Oh yes, topiaries, uh, plenty. You got Chip and Dale down here, you got Mickey, you got Minnie, you got Pluto over here. Next to tra Test Track, the line for Brunch Cot runs parallel to the monorail beam. It's because they haven't opened yet. It's very lengthy, but they're about to op start opening the food booths now. Now there was a former year that I tried the avocado toast. I think I've had the shrimp and grits before. I might try some familiar menu items this year, but also want to try some new stuff too. Brunch Cot. And perfect timing as the monorail lime green goes by they have just now opened up brunch cot that must be 11 a.m trying something new i've had the avocado toast and i've had the shrimps but i have not had this it's like an egg it's like an egg treat here from look at that jiggle brunch tim also got the same thing i got it without the fish though this is new right yeah brand new this year look at your mickey on your shirt right there yeah look at it. he says he always makes you smile he does doesn't he? What'd you get? Avocado toast. You got the hey. avocado toast? That's yeah, like a lot. classic. Solid. Solid yeah. option. Didn't it used to have something different on it though? It's a goat cheese, but it's there. Oh. You went sans fish. Sans fish. That means no fish. It does. Sans. The technical name is Lox Benedict with cream cheese, shallots, crispy capers, and hollandaise. This is everything spiced cream cheese, shallots. It has everything spiced cream Fish cheese, shallots, crispy capers, and hollandaise. And this was seven dollars and fifty cents. How runny the egg is! How runny! Yeah, we had a hard time getting over to the table without it bursting. Yeah, and they, it's flailing par, around. Parboiled, not poached. Parboiled, not hard boiled. Parboiled, parboiled, par like, a little, little bit boiled. It really does have quite the jiggle right there. <laughs> quite the jiggle there. <laughs> Oh, look, there's like a little onion over there on the side too, a little ring onion. Mmm, delicious. It has like a peppery flavor. It mixes in with the bread and the egg. The bread, mm. the bread is really good. All right, let's give this a try. I'm excited for it because I love Ooh. a Benedict. And right behind you, as you're eating, the monorail is going to go over your head. Wait for it. Nailed it. Are you getting it in frame? Yeah, it's right there. You getting it in there, your camera there? Monorail. Okay, Nick got the sipper here, the orange. That's not the same sipper they had before, right? No. It's different. This oh, is the that original has the... sipper that they had at oh, Magic Kingdom. It has the Walt Disney World logo, old school Walt Disney World logo on the front of it there. Right? With the I'm going to have to get that. You don't like that? No, I love the, I mean, I, oh. I love the orange bird. Who you doesn't get, love orange bird, right? You gave like a little... Yeah, no, it's awesome. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves it. Like, that was like a that was a psh of excitement. Oh yeah. How can you not love the orange bird? Right? I hate the orange bird. What? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, because some people don't like figment. You don't like the orange bird? What? Who doesn't like figment? There's a lot of people that don't like figment. Yeah, figment's a little uh, Oh really? He doesn't like figment. Oh wow, okay. Alright, we're getting the we're getting the truth out here. And there's a lot of people that don't like Buzzy. Well, he doesn't even exist. Somebody has him in his their closet. <laughs> <laughs> they they used to sell a, a device that you can jam into an orange yeah. and just drink yeah. the, the juices the juice. of So the he's got the device into there, but he's also someone has embedded it in his noggin. But also, this isn't an orange. This was an original sipper yeah. for Walt Disney World. Okay. 
Yeah. I like I, I might get one of those at some point. Here's what I want, though. What do you I want? I want to be able to drink out of here, too. I want to be able to do two different things. Oh, you drinks. want to drink, like, you want it to go through his belly and into mm -hmm. this. I want it to be separated. I want to have okay. a lemon lime you thing a, in here. You got to customize it. Thing in here. Yeah. Oh, and you got the little wristband there. You got the little. Yeah, you're, look at. Look at the little orange bird with his sunglasses on. So basically what this is, instead of using your credit card at every booth, you just buy a gift card. It's a gift card. You wear, yeah. it, wear it on the wrist. You can load this up with $1,000. How much is on yours? Like 12 bucks? It's got like 40, 30 bucks on it right now. Okay. My first impression of Flower and Garden 2023 kickoff, it very busy. <laughs> very, very, very busy. A lot of people want, there's food in here too. We're gonna get some food in here also. I don't really have anywhere to carry it, but I really want this little golden book, Orange Bird Supper. Yes. Get it. Or one water, right? Just one water. Thank you. This is pretty, this is pretty dang awesome. It's a little golden book. You don't have, I have it. Remember the golden child? Eddie Murphy, the golden child? Oh, I thought you were like the pokey little puppy. I think it was Space Mountain one. And a Haunted Mansion little Can we get all those here too? No, Small World? Maybe. I know, I didn't realize there were so many of those. Oh. This is what we're dealing with here in the Odyssey, the former Odyssey building. Shrimp tempura. This is like a dessert of some sort. I can't remember, it's like blueberries on it. All, it was almonds? Brie, it has brie in it. Oh, it's brie. I got the orange sesame tempura shrimp and the citrus baked brie with preserved lemon marmalade. Lemon mousse and toasted meringue. We got everything on the table. We got everything. Every food item. This these is very are hot. All new. All these are new. Yeah. When you say hot, you mean spicy? Mm. Oh, okay. Because it's like a sweet chili sauce on it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much was it, do you know? I forgot. Oh, I think this was $7.99 and this was $5.99. They don't do $99. Okay, then it wasn't. And all these are new. Every one of these. Know, everything, right. every food item at this booth is new. Yeah. There's some speculation that this is a new booth, and there's also some speculation that this is an old booth that moved to a new location. Uh, okay. I can't remember. It's a conspiracy. Not a conspiracy, just Tim's bad memory. It's fully congealed. I like the setup where you have your big camera wedged down in the fanny pack. Well, this is a, a satchel. Crossbody. Crossbody, and then over here, you just like zoomed in on the yeah. on the brie, cutting the brie. This is cutting the cheese. Is brie cheese? Yeah. You just cut the cheese. I did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of like, sort of like... This is a weird word. It's got like ooze out there. Oozing, oozing of the brie. Oh. <laughs> I love cheese. The almonds cheese. have a bit of a spice to them. Like a, like a like kick. A, like a kick to it? Yeah, but it's not not like a... Hi guys, enjoy the show. Thank we you. Want to come say hello. How's it going? Thank you so much. Mm. Oh, I thought you were doing mmm for the... Uh, mm. You made a yummy sound. For the, uh, for you the made spiciness. A... Oh, well, no, I didn't try an almond. Sorry, it just punched you. Try an almond. <clears throat> it just hit me. Yeah. It does have a spice. I want to hear. I want to hear Nick. I want to hear a yummy sound. I want to hear you make a yummy sound. <laughs> you made a yummy wow. sound at the very end. Oh, there was. He goes, wow. <laughs> he turned into. That's he good. turned into. So what's his name? The guy that does cars. And I really like this mural on the wall. It says, greetings from Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Grown and packed by Bay Lake Product Corporation 2023. And there's the orange bird over there on the side saying hello inside the Odyssey building. They've got a different name for the festival, but it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's the Odyssey to me. This is like the quintessential topi area right here. Oh, man. Three caballeros. I wasn't going to try anything from this, but Tim recommended the vampire taco. Yeah, taco vampiro. So, is that, so it's a, it's a, how do you pronounce this word? Barbacoa beef? Barbacoa beef on a corn tortilla with crispy grilled Monterey Jack. And this is that taco right here with the cheese on the outside, a little corn extra, and then you got the, the meat down inside of there. Yeah, this is the Vampiro, or Vampiro taco, Vampire taco. I'm kind of disappointed we're at a food festival at Epcot. We haven't eaten on a trash can yet, but we got this here. Also, now that the world's kind of getting back to normal, do you think they're gonna reopen this secondary friendship boat station to go Ooh, across? Good question. Wouldn't that be nice? They should, right? They need to. I think it's time. Maybe once these go away. Oh yeah. Right? Gonna get our sight line back across World Showcase Lagoon again. Yeah, we'll soon. be able to see. We'll be able to see across your American adventure. You can see it right now, can't you? The American, well I can't because this friendship boat stands in the way. Ah, we yeah. should get rid of that. So, <laughs> <laughs> the Vampiro. 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 Look at this fancy little gizmo you got going here. Yeah, let's see. So let's it just see moves it around. 
Does this add to the your videography experience? Yeah, let's try. Let's try. Let's see. How do I make it start? Going yeah, the wrong there it way. Goes. So when they watch your video, you're going to be able to see this footage in there? Yeah. A little bumpy on this table, but not so bad. So they've had this in previous years. That's how you know about it? Yeah, it's delicious. Oh no, I ran into your camera with my little gizmo. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all, it's all good. It was me. I Dang, that's one. good. Isn't it? Best thing at the festival. What, it's like barbecue beef? Yeah, barbacoa. Man, not that's barbecue, good. But barbacoa. Best thing at the festival. If oh, well, I mean, according to you, we haven't tried everything at the festival. The best thing this. Are you year. eating everything today? No, I'm gonna try it. No, We're gonna, I'm gonna eat a lot of stuff. I want to try to get a cookie. Because today's a historic day for you. It is. How old are you today? Forty-one. You're seven years younger than I am. Seventy years younger. Don't worry. How old do you think I look if you were a, a barker at a fair? If I were a barker at a fair. Mm -hmm. Well, now I can't see you. You gotta let me look at you. Let me get a good look, look at, at you. Okay. Hey, can you hold up your food real quick so I can use this as a thumbnail? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm guessing your weight. All right, good. Okay. I, might, I may or may not use it as a thumbnail, or I'll just edit you out. So you've got some, you got a little bit of gray in your beard. Yes. I've known people to go gray at, at, in their early 20s. Yes. Oh, I should take this off because I still got my hair. You still, what, are there times where you don't have your hair? Some people lose their hair earlier on than Oh, my, okay. Uh, 35. 35? Is that what you think? The I don't, corn's really good. Yeah, esquites. Uh, That's my age? No, 40, 47. Got a good look at my face? Yeah, I got a good look at it. 47. 47. I'll be 49 in August. What year did uh, that Green Day album come out? Which one, Dookie? The one, that, the one you have your tattoo of. 94, oh, uh, for Plunk? For that Plunk. would have been 92? Let's see. 92. 92, I think 90, maybe 91 or 92. Did you get the tattoo when the album came out? No, no, no. I got the you tattoo. Turned, you turned 18. I got, I got the tattoo post Duke. Post Duke, after Dookie. Because mm -hmm. you like Kerplunk better. I like Kerplunk better songwriting wise, but the recording on Dookie is, is a better recording. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? Tim Cracker, Adam Lou, watch you back in the music park days. Amusement. Which? Oh, the amusement. That's when you used to do the abandoned amusement park days. Long time ago. Yeah. Oh. How old do you think I am? Wait, wait, what the heck is this? What is this boat coming across the lagoon right here? This is not a friendship boat. There's this random boat going across the lagoon that I've never seen go across the lagoon before. Is that going, are those like VIPs? Is those like exe Disney execs? Is that coming for a resort? What is that boat going across past this unused friendship boat fountain, past the harmonious barges? What is that boat going across there? I need to know. Can we rent that boat? Let's do it. Tim, let's get on the boat. I want to go on that boat. All right, let's do Why it. is that boat in the lagoon? We can watch the fireworks. Well, they don't, they're, not, they're not happening right now. I know, but that's something we could do. There's day drinking. I can rent that boat. Yeah. Just like really? you can rent Grand One, too. How much do you think it is? Too much. Can't be more than five grand. <laughs> <laughs> Making our way now around World Showcase. It is warm out here today. I'm glad I wore this big brimmed hat. Still on the topiary walk over here, you got Anna and Elsa from Frozen in front of Norway. And of course, the seven dwarfs over here next to Snow White. Well, there were six dwarfs. The seventh is over here. Dopey's over here and Snow White is over here. But yeah, all of them here allotted for. And this is one of the new topiaries this year. This is the Tiana. I think there's two or three new topiaries. There's the Encanto on the way in and there's Tiana. And there might be one other one, but this is definitely one of the new ones over by the American Adventure. The new topiaries. What is it? Tiana and the family magical in front of the park. So it can't in can't. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was so I've, I saw I've seen all the new ones. All the new ones, yeah. And then the other ones are here. They're just kind of scattered in different areas of the. I feel like the Canadian geese are new too. Where are they over Canada? Canada. That yeah. makes sense. We're walking. We're making our way over that way. We're also gonna go to Hollywood Studios. We just got word that Mando might be over there. Mando and Grogu. Mando and Grogu because. Tonight? It's today that the uh, yeah, that this morning at three season three comes it's out? out right now. You could be watching it. Yeah, I'd rather be here though. But Should then I later. show it to him? You're gonna show him this the series. Yeah, I'll show him. I'll be like, this is what's yeah. gonna happen to you. Oh and he'll see the future. You shouldn't give him any spoilers. Okay. Yeah, I think Mandalorian should be spoiler free. Okay. Completely. There's no one yeah, over here at this booth. Look at this. This is like empty lines. 
pretty great here in front of American, the American Adventure. It's 1.15 right now. We could park hop at Studios at 2, so we're going to start heading over there via the Skyliner. Oh, I also kind of just remembered a little bit ago that this is where they have the Frushi. This is the festival. They have the Frushi over here at Japan, so I don't know if I'll get it now. Maybe when we come back over later, I'll get the Frushi. I got to get some Frushi at some point. Yeah. It doesn't look like this. It wasn't always there, right? It's always been there, but yeah. it looks different. Does it? Yeah, like the face is different. Okay. It's like that. It's the sculpted face now. It used to be a actual. No, you know what? You're right. It was never here. There was a dragon in China. Yeah, it wasn't here though. I think it, it was. I think there might have been two dragons. A dragon? Two dragons. Oh, I was doing a peach, peach dragon reference. One, two dragons here before you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's uh, two princes. Two princes. That's uh, spin doctors. Spin doctors. Yeah, name they, two uh, princes. The the singer and the bass player. Who's the bass player? Uh, prince. Was it uh, prince bass player? I don't remember. You thinking of Flea? Flea. Ah. Since we're about to get on the Skyliner, I felt it appropriate to show the Skyliner items over there. And I've been drinking water all the morning, but I figured this is appropriate because it's citrus. It's orange. Oh. See, it's an orange a, bird. Yeah. We're gonna go see Grogu, yeah. and he is fantastic. I like that. Yeah, that's a guy was good. Yeah, tied it all together. You think we're gonna see him? Look at this is what we're doing. We're on, we're our, on way, our way to fun. On our way to fun. Do you think we're really gonna see Mando? I probably overused this in your video, but I'm gonna use it now in mine. Since we're going to see Mando, is this the way? This is the way. This is the way. This is the way we go to see Mando. <laughs> Let me show. Hey, is this the way? Is this the way to go see Manda? This is the way. Did you guys need to stop making this joke. <laughs> Do you think he ever, he ever sings that to Grogu? Mandalorian appeared today for the first time. Not at Disneyland. But at Hollywood Studios, Walt Disney World. The question is, is he going to be over there when we get there? I've already Maybe. Seen. And Grogu's with him. Yeah. Grogu's we'll, there we'll too. I'm Grogu. Just don't ask about the way. <laughs> is this the way? What did you say Grogu was? He's a little baby Grogu. Yeah, but you said he was something else. He was made out of what? He's an animatronic. No, he's real. Oh, he's real. What are you talking about? What's an animatronic? What? Are you... what are you... Who are you? He's visiting. Between... You're an animatronic. <laughs> what happened to my pin? Oh, no. Where's your? It's my birthday. Oh, you got your pen. Your Why is this moving so slow? This thing is moving like a snail. These you got a birthday so... pen. It's my birthday. Should we sing Happy Birthday? Yeah. It's copyrighted. You can't. Oh. Can't do it. Which okay. first Even if I sing it, I don't think that it would, I don't think it would be as close to the... <laughs> we should have Grogu sing it to you. We fully stopped. Whoa! What the? What the? You're doing all right over there? This is not This has never happened to me. This is not the one time. This is not the way. This is not the way? This is so much right now. Really? Like, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be all right. It's all good. We're moving already. Aren't Look, they're cranking it back up. I can hear the engine going again. Oh, oh you know what? No, that was that golf it's like cart. A little down golf there. cart. That's what runs this thing. It's got a golf cart. I, I just looked. I kind of like this. Why did you look down? <laughs> okay, so so what do they have in this little case down here? They have, they have like water bars and water. Thank you for your patience. We are now beginning the journey, and we'll take flight momentarily. That sounds like a Star Wars character. That is so loud. That is very loud. I've never heard that. I, my ears, is, from, I, I, from all our years of being in bands and such, yes. my ears have this like, <laughs> and when she was talking, boy did it hit hard. What's that? I can hear you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. That was a new experience. I like new experiences. Oh. I didn't you, like like new you ever get excited when something happens that never happens at the park? Yeah. You get, like, overly... Except for that. You didn't like that? No. What's something else that's I kind of liked it. Here's our question. What's something you've never done at Walt Disney World? Oh, it wow. would be personally offensive to you guys, probably. Yeah, I just did Living with the Lamb for the first time first this time. holiday season, and that really frustrated some people. Yeah. Well, Chris Provost had never wrote, written Carousel of Progress until like a two weeks ago. What? Yeah. Chris Provost had never written Carousel of Progress. So. He, he's been to other parks around the world. Too, I know. Right? I know. Never written any I always Carousel. called him out on it, but he finally wrote it and sent me a photo. Well, that's so good great. on you, Chris Provost. Good shot. <laughs> What's something that you've never done? Here? Yeah. I never do Mission Space, ever. But you've done it before. I've done it, but I'll never do it again. Don't care. It needs to be torn down. You, yeah, here's something that, <laughs> I did that I hadn't done before, and that was Acker Shoes. I've done it now, but I've never eaten there before. I've never eaten there either. You There's a lot that? of restaurants I haven't eaten yeah, at. Same. Yeah. The, what is the show in China? Ref, not Reflections, no. What is it called? 
Reflections of China? Yeah, I've yeah. never done that. Is it called Reflections of China? What's the one that Martin Short hosts? That's Canada. That's Canada. Oh, I've never done that Canada. either. But now it's not Martin Short anymore. Now it's... Um, Tim Conway. Celine Dion. No. <laughs> I'm gonna live forever! Your jokes sound say different. Tim and I have a history of Forever Young. Yeah. Every time we get in the car and turn the radio on, it's on. It's on. Yep. It was all sprung from where you were at Disneyland. Yes. In the queue for Snow White's normal, not scary adventure. Yep. We threw a quarter. You threw a quarter. I threw a quarter and it landed. It landed in the cup. Yep. And yes. I said, I'm going to live forever. <laughs> and that's how it started. And that's how it started. That's a story you didn't ask to hear, but we told it to you anyway. I appreciate it. It yeah. kept you from realizing that we stopped for a second. Didn't <laughs> way. Oh, now you're, oh. you're using the joke now. <laughs> Now, if this is anything like Disneyland, he'll probably be out over near the garage. Yeah. That's usually where Mando... Bless you. He sneezed. Who did? You? No, no, the, the other guest that was like oh. behind us. Oh. Now, I am a hot coffee guy. I've all, never been ashamed to admit it, but need a little caffeine. Over here in Batu East, they have this iced coffee. What are they, I don't know what they call this exactly. It's it's a black calf. Black calf? Black calf. Like a black cow? Yeah, like a baby cow. Like yeah, black, black baby cow. Black calf. Okay, and this is like, this is basically just like a cereal on Those top of it. space puffs. Space puffs. All right, I'm going to try this black. What would you call this? Black cow? Black cow. Black cow. Black cow is black a cow is a, You know that? Yeah. I worked Who in a food know that? Nobody? Nobody knows that black cow is a manure? They're only people who plant gardens. And this. He, he's got a, a deep he understanding manure. of manure. I hate manure. I hate manure. Do you know anybody that likes manure? Yeah. You think somebody like, somebody would drive their car to the back of a manure truck and it would fall on them and he'd be like, ah, I love manure. Okay, I kind of sort of like that coffee, but I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I get it again. I got it once at Disneyland. And I've had it once here. I don't think I'll get it again. I'm more of a hot. I'm more of a hot coffee guy. I don't really understand having the the, the cocoa puffs on top, but it's fun. <laughs> Every cast member that walks out, everyone's cheering for. That's awesome. They did not really say exactly where he's going to walk out of it. Look how many people are over here waiting for this rope to drop here, Mandalorian to come out on the East Coast for the first time. Here comes Chewy. They fooled everybody. He's over here. He's in the marketplace. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, look, there's so many cameras. 
Oh my goodness. Is that okay? Come forward. Thank you. Big fan. I know. I'm kind of nervous. I didn't do anything wrong. You're doing good. Settle down, please. I'll calm down. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of Grogu real quick, okay? You're so cool. <laughs> I love these moments. Hi, Grogu. It's good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Oh my god, he's oh, so adorable. Him. He's the best. Ah. Thank you so much, Mando. Mando. Yeah, have a good day. Can I try? Wow. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Man. So he came in this way, went through a large congregation of people, and then exited out. He was out for no more than 10 minutes. Though so they pulled the old the old decoy ploy. And Mando's back out again, immediately back out. I got the Grogu giggle. And I photobombed Jojo here. Impeccable. Yeah, look at this. This is me right here. I saw you <laughs> taking the photo and I was like, oh no, heck no. I want to get in there too. No, I absolutely love it. <laughs> this is the way. It's my new favorite picture <laughs> of 2023. All right, now heading back over to Epcot. I think I might get some Frushi and end the day with some Frushi. All right, so this is Frushi. It's basically, it looks like sushi, but it's made out of fruit and it has the rice in there as well and I got the chopsticks that go along with it too. Okay, I looked at the ingredients. It's strawberry pineapple, lychee wrapped in sweet rice with pink soy, served with whipped cream, drizzled raspberry, and a little toasted coconut. Not a big coconut guy, but you don't really taste it. I don't think you really can taste the coconut. I don't, I don't recall the coconut being like a prominent part of this. I don't know why I do this whole spinning thing around, but I kind of like to spin it around. And it's a pretty good view of the area here in Japan while you're consuming some fruity. See the strawberry and all that in there? So you got the whipped cream and then you got this drizzle sauce right here. And I'll do some more topiaries. Check out these Beauty and the Beast ones. I don't think I've ever seen where his uh, the, the clock there is like the pendulum is swinging on the clock there. But I don't think I've ever seen that. If I have, I've never, just never noticed it before. It's awesome. It is a tale as old as time. True as it can be. Topiaries aplenty at, well, I, I was gonna try to rhyme something there, but. Couldn't think of anything off the cuff. But yeah, here's Beast and Bell. Supposedly the Beast's name was Prince Adam, but in the, the movie itself, he, he's never referred to as Prince Adam. I think it was like in the sequel or maybe in like the prequel or some other incarnation of the Beast story. It has been a fun, full day. I did a little park hopping as well. This cast member is doing the two finger point to Bambi here. Not really sure exactly why but he's just like doing a two finger point to bambi having a staring contest Bambi here. All right, I'm gonna move on. Oh, nice, they have the floating flowers out here this year. And I think in past years, also there's Goofy over there in the distance. I think there was one year they didn't do the floating flowers, or maybe, maybe I think of a different festival, but they got the floating flowers over there. There's a crow right there, a bird right here. Here's the backside of a hidden Mickey right down here. Here's my shadow as well. And no monorail going by, but you get the idea with the monorail beam 
and all the flowers and all that. I'm not sure what kind of loop the monorail's on at the moment. Sometimes it's 15 minutes if it's busy, it's on like a 12, 12 minute loop, but this is definitely very, very iconic of this festival to have the floating flowers and whatnot. And then, like I said, the upside down hidden. This just looks so dang cool, the side of this little hill, this little berm with all the flowers. Spaceship Earth off in the distance. Yeah, when I think of this festival, the Flower and Garden Festival, I always think of this with all the flowers going around. It's also amazing that over here, peeking up below, well, Spaceship Earth is peeking up above the new area that's going vertical over there with all the construction, of course, Lion King Tokyo area here as well. And here's more floating flowers. Oh, perfect. With the sunburst. There it goes. The monorail. With the floating flowers. And not just floating flowers in the monorail, but epic topiaries. And vertical construction. And spaceship earth. Look, float, these flowers are floating, see? They're like on a chain, and they just kind of float around here. All of them, they all float. So if you watch, watch them close enough, they not only are floating, but they're moving, moving floating flowers, I should call it. There sure. he is right there. Figment. Even a figment topiary made out of foliage. Pretty cool. Get them from the side there. And now gonna head into the butterfly landing. Through here are a bunch of butterflies. This is called the butterfly landing. This is the entrance right here through this whole netting. They put these up so the butterflies have a harder time getting out because you don't want the butterflies flying all over Epcot. They would get lost. There's not a whole lot of butterflies in here. I kind of wonder if as they hatch, as the festival continues, maybe there'll be more. There's one right there. Do not pick the flowers. There's a whole congregation of them up there. There's probably a couple dozen on top Boy. there. And then there's one like over here fluttering around. And perfect timing. Monorail, red, going by. See if I can get the angle there. There it goes. Going by Spaceship Earth. And I am heading out and I'm also running parallel to this wall. I almost put my face right up against it. And that's gonna do it for today from Epcot Center. First day, 2023's International Flower and Garden Festival. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.